We're joined now by Chef Jose Andres, who is the founder of World Central Kitchen, which has gathered the food that's on the Spanish charity ship Open Arms. And he joins us now live from Washington, D.C. Chef Jose Andres, fantastic to have you on the program. Now, what your World Central Kitchen and the Spanish uh, charity boat Open Arms are attempting to do hasn't been done for over a decade because, as you know, as we've just mentioned, the, uh, the maritime blockade there by Israel on Gaza. Now, there's a lot of concern about um, how, how you will dock, how the, sh the food will be distributed. But you have said that uh, failure, that we may fail, but the true failure is not trying. How successful do you think you'll be? Well, uh, you, you have to hope that we will be successful because the situation, especially in the north of Gaza, is desperate. Uh, I want to make sure that you understand that this is a World Central Kitchen-led operation. Uh, Open Arms is our partner and the first boat. We have a second boat that is being loaded today, a much bigger capacity boat. But this is the pilot. Mm -hmm. As the boat is on its way to Gaza, we are we are building the jetty right now that will allow us to connect with the beaches so we can bring the trucks and from there start delivering into the different kitchens and hospitals and the places we want to do this initially. This is a combined operation, obviously, with the support of Emirates and uh, Jordan and obviously the support of Cyprus. When I sent the boat to Cyprus many weeks ago and myself, I went to Cyprus, was precisely with this simple idea. We need to stop talking. We must be doing more. Ramadan was coming, and the least we could do was to increase the amount of food that we are bringing. World Central Kitchen is doing right now more than 35 million meals. We've been able to put 1,400 uh, trucks. We work with local uh, organizations inside Gaza. We have 65 kitchens. We are building 10 more. We are doing more than 350,000 mm -hmm. hot meals mm -hmm. a day. This is why we need to increase the number of meals. We need mm -hmm. to increase the number mm -hmm. of kitchens. To do that, we must find ways to bring more food into Gaza. And Chef Osandras, just exactly what is on the boat and how many people do you think you'll be able to feed? Because we heard concerns there by our, um, our correspondent, Nizar Sadawi, saying that authorities were saying that it was what's on the boat is equivalent to two trucks. No, negative. It's equivalent to many more trucks. But I think just you mentioned that the maritime route has not been operational for more than 10 years. Mm -hmm. You need to understand that in this first arrival, with a place that has no port working, that we are building a jetty with anything and everything we have only inside Gaza. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the first uh, trip cannot be one of quantity, mm -hmm. but one where everybody uh, feels comfortable that we're doing the right thing, obviously supported by these two countries, two Arab countries, supported by the Palestinian people inside Gaza, connecting the dots with the support of the local Mukhtars. This, at the end of the day, is a led uh, Arab uh, uh, op uh, country operation where World Central Kitchen is taking the lead of making it happen. Mm -hmm. This first mm -hmm. trip is not about the quantity. This first trip is to make sure that we can be successful Believe me, if we are successful, we are going to be bringing uh, hundreds, uh, equivalent to hundreds of trucks through that mm -hmm. port. But you will agree with me that in the middle here at the beginning of Ramadan was the right moment to try Absolutely. to do everything Absolutely. we can, because mm -hmm. what's happening, I cannot control. I wish I could bring uh, more trucks. I wish we got the ceasefire. I wish I cannot control mm -hmm. those things. But what we can control is finding other ways to bring more food, including now, we are sending food through the parachutes, thanks to our partnership okay. with the uh, Kingdom of Jordan. And Chef Jose Andres, there's so much concern about uh, the safety here of uh, the food distribution because 400 people have been killed this month alone just trying to get food, and that was not in a stampede at all. So how will you police the food distribution? How safe will that be? Well, we, we, we always uh, have ways to be working with the local Mukhtars, the, the elders, the local leaders. Obviously, in the places we are feeding, in Rafa and other places north, those places that receive food daily, there is where the people are 
okay under the situation. Mm -hmm. You need to understand that the best way to make sure that the aid delivery is safe for everybody is by being massive. Mm -hmm. People are hungry, people are desperate. When we were in Syria after the earthquake uh, that hit Turkey and northern Syria, I was there. The first day arriving to the different cities in, in Syria was desperate. When they saw that you were coming every day with enough food to feed everybody, all of the sudden that situation was much more easy and people were waiting in line and everything was happening in a very organized way. That's why we need to find any way possible to bring massive quantities of food so the desperation that the people are facing goes down. That's why I'm looking for every way that we can bring bigger quantities of food so we can increase the number of hot meals mm -hmm. what Central Kitchen is doing and also the Ramadan boxes that we already have inside Gaza that we are distributing every day all across the different communities. And Chef Jose Andres, if this uh, wonderful initiative um, led by World Central Kitchen, of course, is successful, um, how many more boats would be coming? And of course, as you made clear in your first answer, this is a pilot. This is a pilot. We already are feeling one that uh, probably is going to have close to three, uh, 4,000 tons. We are already talking a much more massive boat that the idea is that will be also uh, put in front of the coast of Gaza mm -hmm. and then with smaller boats, with the barges and with amphibious vehicles, slowly but surely, mm -hmm. we will be able to be bringing them with the help of this jetty that I hope we will finalize it mm -hmm. in time uh, before Friday. Mm -hmm. And that way, trucks will be coming in and from there they will start mm -hmm. heading to the different places that the most need um, uh, happen. Mm -hmm. And that's a very uh, simple plan. You know, sometimes you have to go slowly. You have mm -hmm. to start small. But I guarantee you, if we are successful, God willing, uh, uh, on this first, more will come in. And hopefully between whatever is coming from the south by road and what we may be bringing by the ships, I hope that in the next days or weeks, we can once and for all palliate the hunger situation that many people in Gaza are facing. It would be absolutely amazing. Um, are you allowed or can you even uh, share with us where exactly uh, you're building the jetty that I understand is 35 metres long? How easy will it be also to dock? Well, we, we, we need to build it almost to 60. It depends a lot mm -hmm. about um, um, we couldn't, we are not the ones that chose the, the, the place. We are working with the coordinates uh, we are given but we are working with local uh, Palestinian uh, people and companies to build uh, this uh, jetty. Must be successful, mm -hmm. has to be successful. We need to reach up to 60 meters. And if we but get where to is it, meters, Chef Jose Andres? Is it north, northern Gaza? Are you allowed yeah, to share? It's somewhere, in the middle, it's somewhere in the middle of Gaza. I okay. think as, as the boat is going to be getting closer and closer, uh, you will realize uh, where where that jetty is being built. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, I do believe uh, anything we do is not enough. Uh, we may fail on this mission, but what we cannot is use the biggest failure, as you mentioned, I said before, is the failure of trying. We all must be doing more. It's plenty of food that is waiting to enter Gaza, but is not getting quick enough. Therefore, let's find other routes. Mm -hmm. The maritime route is a possibility. If we are successful, we can increase a lot the quantity of humanitarian aid of food coming into Gaza. The north must be fed. Just exactly, the north must be fed. And just very quickly before uh, we let you go back to your amazing project, um, how helpful is Israel being with this project? Well, I, 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 we all have to understand that nothing moves into Gaza without uh, Israel. Um, um, uh, looking into uh, everything you are bringing in, uh, in the checkpoints coming into Gaza, uh, everything is uh, is checked every 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 track. With the boat was the same. Cyprus has been a good partner, and, and between governments they speak. And obviously Israel takes a look uh, of what is in the boat. And so far they've been very quickly in helping us 
uh, provide uh, this uh, aid food uh, to Gaza. Is is nothing goes into Gaza without uh, the the approval, obviously, of of Israel. But again, this is a, a mission that is led by uh, uh, Emirates. Is led by uh, Jordan. We've been working with them very well. I'm very happy that this is a, a an Arab country led operation. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy that Wolfson and Dragic and we've been taking the lead on this next with this boat of open arms. Let's let's pray that this operation will be will be successful because then you have my promise that more and more food will be entering Gaza and I promise you that that food will be reaching the people in the north. Absolutely. Well, Chef Jose Andres, uh, you've done it before in, in earthquake zones, even here in Turkey, Syria, in, in war zones, and um, you have so much. Uh, of our prayers and positive thoughts behind you, uh, the World Central uh, Kitchen team, and of course, uh, open arms there. All the best. Thank you so much for your time today here on TRT World. Thank you.